hearing aids are mainly designed to improve intelligibility in various environments. This focus might not provide optimal experience when listening at music, because the listening intentions and the acoustical properties are very different. It motivates the need using a specific music listening program. Main changes in this music program affect signal processing settings. These changes are evaluated with perceptual tasks, including genre as explanatory variable, with the assumption that music genre might interact with the tested settings. However, the sampling procedure is critical because the sample used for the evaluation is defined by its genre, but we don't know how well the genre is defined by the selected samples. In this presentation, we will first describe the between and within genre variability using various audio descriptors. We will also describe the homogeneity of the amplification effect and show how genre is interacting with the selected conditions. We built a database from two reference studies to explore this topic. Audio descriptors were retrieved from the unprocessed samples but also from amplified samples with low and fast acting compression. Distribution of dynamic range and spectral shape is in line with reference data, with the trend that more classical genres have a larger dynamic range, while more modern genres have more energy in high frequencies and a flatter spectrum. The effect of amplification by genre is shown here with the arrows. This illustration highlights the interaction between dynamic range compression settings and music genre. These findings suggest that we should be careful when generalizing results from audio evaluation. It also motivates the need to use samples as random effect to better generalize the findings and also gain confidence in the results.